there was a meeting in Froome last week organised by Fair Froome with speakers from the Equality Commission and it made me think about growing up near Froome and how when I was a kid although there was poverty and there was class, really obvious class division and there was slum housing the one thing that you never saw was families having to go to food banks to get food to feed their families for the week. There are people struggling with cuts to welfare in hidden ways all around the country. I was talking to someone the other day who works in a charity shop and she told me how people are coming in and hanging out in the charity shop all day because because of the bedroom tax, they've had to open their houses to people. These are elderly people. They've had to open their houses to people and they don't want to be at home when they're there. They don't even feel comfortable in their own homes. And this kind of experience of struggling with the day-to-day -day living and not being able to get the same kind of life that you're always being told everyone's enjoying around you. That's the experience of deep inequality which has grown in our country in the last four years and in the last decade. And at the same time, you can open the papers any day and see these obscene displays of wealth and power and people getting the law changed to benefit their corporation, people hiding their taxes abroad in other places and making excuses. And all the time this equality gap is growing. The message we're getting is that after the next election, whichever of the main parties win, the vulnerable people, the low paid families are going to have to put up with more decrease in their living standards, with their wages being frozen, with their benefit and support system being cut away. And that's not even beginning to talk about what will happen to our young people when they're faced with either having to pay massive tuition fees or take really low paid jobs without proper contracts. These inequalities have to be addressed. But the truth is, they're not going to be addressed by tinkering around with a bit of this and a bit of that, as Labour, the Tories and the Liberals seem to argue about every day. What we need to do is shift the balance of wealth in this country for good. I want you to be heard. I want you to get behind us in this campaign and I want us to get the people out who often don't bother to vote because it's not apparently for them. Get those votes out, register what we think and let's get someone into Parliament who's really prepared to fight for us. I'm prepared to fight for everyone who suffers injustice under this system and I expect you are too. I want you to join us and help us in our campaign to win the election in May.